I bet you some of you guys see that EWA and you say uh, Ewa. A lot of my mainland clients, they say uh, Ewa Beach. The correct pronunciation is Eva. The 96706 area code. You taking the people around the 96706 area code. All right, taking the Eva cutoff, exit 5A, which in Hawaii, we don't uh, use exits. So you always know someone's from the mainland when they're like, oh yeah, I took exit uh, 5B and went on Interstate 76. Just for this video, I noticed it's, uh, it's uh, exit 5A. Uh, everyone will just say I took the Eva cut off or turned by the 7-Eleven or whatever. We're entering Eva, it's 3 p.m. about. So we're gonna be able to show you a little bit of that uh, real Eva Beach traffic. See how backed up the 76 South actually gets at 3 p.m. And it's a sunny day, 81 degrees. Eva Beach is the plains of this island. So it's all flat, used to be all farmland, plantation land, usually dry and sunny, but it makes for nice weather. There's a little detour you could take here, go around the hospital, which is uh, Queens West and go through a little town called Hono Uli Uli. It's a little community that's a part of this zip code. We're coming up on the Queens Medical Center, West Oahu. Used to be called St. Francis Medical Center, but now it's Queens. Uh, Queens took it over. If you're living in Eva Beach, this is probably where they're gonna take you, unless it's super serious. They'll probably take you to Queens in town or Tripler if you're military. On the left here is Westlock Estates. This is the first community when you take this exit and come into Eva Beach. So people who are very worried about traffic, these two Westlock communities give you newer build options. They were built uh, Westlock Estates. They started building in 1989, I believe. Westlock Fairways in the early 90s. A little bit, you know, more modern builds for the Hawaii uh, range of builds, which we'll probably get into a little bit later in this video, actually. More modern builds and closer to the freeway, so you don't have to deal with as much traffic. So I'll show you guys the Hawaii driving right now. Thank you. Put the blinker on, people let you go. It's a beautiful thing. You just have to say thank you. So we're passing Westlock Estates on the left, mostly single family homes. And then we'll pass Westlock Fairways is the next stoplight. That's actually where I lived from eighth grade to 12th grade. There's a golf course separating Westlock Estates and Westlock Fairways. It's on the left and the right of me here. A bit of a mountain view behind the golf courses there. I'm gonna take a left here at Westlock Fairways, drive around a little bit. When you enter, there's this waterfall and then the main drag is all tree-lined and they have this tree, I forget the name, that people from Guam call it a uh, Tongan Tongan tree, but I don't know what we call it, but it, these sweet beans all over the ground, they get kind of sticky. They smell good. There's a guard shack here. I don't think, I've never seen a guard there in all the years I lived here or came to visit friends. So there's a few main four-way stops. This first one is Maka'alo, and this is the front part of Westlock. On the right over there, there's some townhomes and smaller, like what you would consider a condo on the mainland. There's some duplexes on this main drag. And one of the main parks, which we'll probably catch on the way out, is here to our left. So these homes were built in the late 80s and then into the early 90s in this development and I actually looked it up just for this video. I didn't know, but I guess the city and county of Honolulu had like a development uh, chapter that has since shut down and they partnered with builders to actually develop it, the city and county did. So it's not section eight housing that, you know, is a housing project, but there was a time in Hawaii between the 70s and the late 80s to 90s where there wasn't a ton of construction. so. We continue to have low inventory on this island, which is one of the reasons why the housing market's so strong here, because everyone wants to be here, but there's low inventory. And there's just not that many places to build. And when this was all farmlands, there just, there wasn't that much building. I used to live over there. We'll probably do a drive-by, show you the street I grew up on. Jordan and Tyler lived in that house right over there, actually. It was just for sale just a few weeks ago, or maybe like two months ago, something like that. My wife and I looked at it because we were considering uh, buying in this area for ourselves. So they still have the lockbox on the front. So Jordan used to sneak out of the top <laughs> and go to go out and like, you know, party and stuff when we were kids. Auntie Darlene, if you're watching this, sorry. Okay, so we're turning on Hamana Street and then we're going left on Aipooga. If you guys need help with pronouncing these Hawaiian, uh, these Hawaiian street names, I got you. 
I took four years of Hawaiian language. I don't remember much, to be honest. I can't speak fluently, but I can pronounce the, the names pretty well. This is actually where I lived throughout, um, you know, like I said, intermediate school and high school. Our neighbors over there, one time they, uh, they saw that our house was on fire. I was lighting off fireworks and I didn't notice one. It caught fire in the back of the house. My dad was just talking about it yesterday. These houses here are on the golf course, so these are a little more sought after. When I walked to the bus stop, I either had to decide to go that way and be one of the last people on the bus where I had to like sit three to a seat or uh, I take the shortcut this way and risk getting my shoes dirty. So I'd walk down this hill and hope I don't slip if it was wet in the morning. This house here has a pua kini kini tree. That is like the best smelling flower in the world. If you're new to Hawaii and I'm picking you up from the airport, tell me you want a pua kini kini day and I'll hook you up. This is the shortcut that kids will have to take to get to the bus stop and then in the cul-de-sac over there, we used to have a basketball goal. So that's where we would, when there's no waves and I couldn't make it to the beach, that's where we would go play basketball. Local people kind of break up the zip code into Eva and Eva Beach. Once you get past a certain point, that's where we would really consider Eva Beach. You could just call Westlock, Westlock. You could call Eva, Eva, and then You'll start to see where the newer homes are developed. People call that Eva Gentry. This is one of the main parks in Westlock Fairways. If you live here or you like it here, it's probably, you know, this probably has a lot to do with it. There's just this nice curved walking trail with views of the island at the park. And then this is the bigger park of the two. This is where uh, we would play football if we were gonna play football or something as kids. Right across the street, just fair warning, I think it's still there. There's a pig slaughter house. So in the morning, sometimes you'd hear the pigs squealing and you, you know, it stink and whatever. If you lived away in the front here, if you're buying a house, that's something that they should probably that they should disclose to you. It's something to be aware of if you're either renting or moving. You know, gonna buy in the front of West Rock here. We're getting back onto Fort Weaver Road. I remember 76 South, but we don't use those terms here in Hawaii. Everyone just calls, you know, streets by their geographic location or the store it's next to or something like that. So on the left over here, you're gonna see some condos. That's actually a senior citizen's uh, like retirement home. That's not anywhere that you can buy. And then this is one of the other main intersections as you're coming into Eva Beach. This is Renton Road. So you notice there's a little graveyard here on the right. So they can't develop there. Probably from the, you know, the plantation days. And then you're gonna come to find out that Zippy's, Zippy's is like our, like a Denny's or I don't know. It's like our diner. Everyone eats Zippy's, you know? So I'm gonna turn right here at 7-Eleven, heading west on Renton Road. As I've been looking for myself, I find that West Lock Estates, West Lock Fairways, Ho'opili, Renton Road, these areas are typically zoned for Eva Elementary unless I'm, you know, missing something, but check that for yourself, okay? Most of the houses here in Eva were built from like the 50s to the 70s. There are a few exceptions to that. There's some newer plantation style homes I'll show you in the back. So this is Eva School or Eva Elementary. Eva School is a Title I school, so I'll let you look that up for yourself. My, my wife uh, is an elementary school teacher and when we were looking at homes in this area, she did not prefer to be in a Title I school. Of the elementary schools in Eva and Eva Beach, the two that she preferred were Holomua and Keone Ula. And also I have clients, husband and wife couple, that are both elementary school teachers, both taught in Eva Beach, and now one of them teaches with my wife. When I told them I was considering moving back to Eva Beach, those were the schools that they kind of said that they would focus on. You know, as an agent, we can't tell you if the school's good or bad or what you should focus on, uh, especially on a YouTube video. Feel free to hit me up with any questions, reach out, give me a call. My wife is a teacher, so we, you know, we grew up here, so we do have our insights. Back in there, there's some newer homes that were built more recently, like in the 90s and 2000s, but they're still that old Hawaii uh, plantation style home. A lot of you may not even know what that is or what that means. But I'm gonna show you an exaggeration of what that could mean for you if you're looking at homes in Hawaii. Now, I gotta imagine that most people who are watching these videos are on the mainland, probably looking for like double wall construction, sliding windows, and sort of more modern construction build. Oh, we're gonna let these kids go, let these keiki go.
See Hawaii, you let people go, you just say thank you and you're welcome. Okay guys, so we just crossed from Renton Road, we crossed Kapolei Parkway, and we're going into an older part of Eva here before you enter uh, Kalailoa. I call it Barber's Point because it is a shut down Navy base. And so we all grew up saying Barber's Point. Now it's, you know, Kalailoa is the Hawaiian name. You know, what is single wall construction versus double wall construction? What is a plantation home? This is kind of a, an exaggeration of that truth. I definitely did not want to offend anyone by showing their house, but this is like an, an old part of Eva and it can show you kind of the quality of construction and some of the old plantation homes. Those walls are like single wall. So if you hang a picture, so if you have a nail and you hammer it in to hang your picture or whatever, the nail is gonna be sticking outside of the house. So it's literally uh, a single thin piece of wood. And you would ask like, why would they build a house like that? And you figure, especially in the 50s and 60s and 70s, you know, Hawaii, we don't have weather like the mainland. We don't have to deal with extreme cold at all. I don't know what the record low on Eva Beach is, but I guarantee you it's in the 60s, high 60s probably. These plantation style homes with this sort of uh, less durable construction, the reason why we have, you know, you see that in Hawaii is because there's no weather, you know, in the, in the way that there's weather in, on the mainland. Okay guys, so we're turning around here to show you guys the Hawaiian Rail Society. If you have little kids, you know, little nieces, nephews, and you wanna get some cute pictures, we don't really have railroads like the mainland, so this is pretty much it. When I lived in California, we had a bunch of, not a bunch, we had like three really cool railroad places within like decent driving distance. And so I'd take my son and, and check out railroads and stuff. This is really the only place on the island where you're gonna get that. See the Christmas lights and stuff still on these. My understanding is they used to use this for the plantation back in the day, but there's really no need for it anymore. So really it's just a tourist and local attraction. I bet you some of you guys see that EWA and you say uh, Iwa, but a lot of my mainland clients, they say uh, Ewa Beach or Iwa. The correct pronunciation is Eva. I'm sitting here at the stoplight at Renton Road and Kapolei Parkway heading east. Kapolei Parkway connects Kapolei and Ever Beach. It also connects you to the freeway and passes by the new development, Ho'opili. It helps to give you another option to get out of Ever Ever Beach. If you were to find yourself in this area, there's a big park on the right here. Softball fields and basketball courts and stuff. Side story, uh, I actually got in a big fight with my <laughs> My video guy's brother actually, we didn't fight, but he was on my side of friends. Stupid young guy stuff. I'll tell you, I did not come out uh, victorious in that fight. We should have never been there. You live and you learn. There is a private school here, Lana Kila Baptist, the school that we're passing on the right. You know, some people that maybe don't prefer the schools in this area, they choose to send their kids to Anakila Baptist. In comparison to some of the other private school options in the area, like Island Pacific Academy and Kapolei, uh, Anakila Baptist is definitely a little more reasonable. You know, some people, for whatever reason, may not prefer this school district, but they want this area because you get more square footage and usually a bigger house for your money. A lot of sunshine, close to the beach. There's a lot of advantages to living in Ava Beach and Campbell High School, I think their test scores are among the, the better in the state now. Some people may prefer that small Christian school experience. So Lanakila Baptist gives you that option. We are coming out of Renton Road, onto Fort Weaver Road and heading towards Eva Beach. We're entering Eva Gentry or Eva by Gentry. It started in the nine, like 92. Uh, they really started developing this area and the builder is Gentry Homes. This is where they started. There's a golf course here. There's newer construction homes. So in the 90s compared to some of the homes that we looked at and older Eva. This was all of the new construction before some of the new developments like Ocean Point, Hoakale, Laulani Tides. This stoplight we're coming up to is Geiger Road and Iroquois Point Road. So this is one of like the first big shopping center that you're going to see in Eva Beach. I'm gonna turn right here on Geiger Road, which takes you to 
Barber's Point or Kalailoa. And I'm gonna turn into the shopping center. So before the new shopping centers down the street really popped up and got popular, this was really like the main shopping center in Ever Beach. You can get your nails done. There's a lovely nails, super cut. One of my dad's favorite Chinese food places is here, but he lives in Tennessee now, so he can't take advantage. My buddy, Matt, his high school job was actually at this subway over here. I remember you giving people free sandwiches at subway, man. l and drive-in. If you've heard of plate lunches, usually the first thing people think of is like, a common plate lunch is l and There's the coffee bean and tea leaf and food land here. For people that are like, what is Long's Drugs? Unless you're from California or something, you might not know about Long's Drugs. Long's Drugs is a part of Hawaii culture. When you go there, you use your CVS card and your CVS rewards and stuff, but Long's is such a part of Hawaii culture. There's like Long's Aloha shirts and uh, that's where you go to buy your slippers or if you ran out of rice. You know, Long's is such a part of Hawaii culture that they kept it Long's. Hawaii people just, they wouldn't have it. These things are called like Sunrise, Sunterra. These are all built in the 90s, you know, newer construction from Eva Gentry. So we're going to turn right again on Fort Weaver Road, south on Fort Weaver, 76 South. Again, we, <laughs> we don't use the, the numbers usually. This next stoplight is called Keao Nui. And this connects actually a neighborhood where I lived right after high school with my parents, right down that street. Kiao Nui connects the new shopping center. So this is Laulani Village. And Eva by Gentry has built Laulani Tides and all this newer construction around here. So you have newer homes, a really nice new shopping center that has Buffalo Wild Wings, Safeway, uh, multiple banks. Safeway gas station, so it's probably the cheapest gas in Ever Beach. Teddy's Bigger Burgers, Ace Hardware, Pet Store, there's Ross. So Hawaii Prince Golf Course is on the left. We're going to come up on Ocean Point. When people are coming to Hawaii and looking at homes, they end up looking at newer construction in and, and Ever Beach and Kapolei usually, and Ocean Point just comes up all the time. Ocean Point and Hoakalei are kind of one in the same. They're separate communities uh, within the Ocean Point community, but Hoakalei is the newer, the newer development. According to my clients, uh, who are elementary school teachers, we bought and sold just recently, and I asked them, you know, should I move to Ever Beach? What do you think about the schools? They mentioned that Keoneula has actually a really cool outdoor program where they teach kids how to plant and grow food and stuff like that. And, you know, they were, they're both elementary school teachers that have taught in Ever Beach and in Mililani and they said that, you know, they would, they would, uh, they would move to this area and go to uh, send their kids to Keoneula. Another thing you'll find over here by Keoneula is a big park and recreation area. They play basketball, softball, football. This is probably gonna be your, your area. Our intern, Cameron, he was talking smack. We had the hoop. I won, but only because we were playing 21 and if we had to run back and forth, I definitely would have lost. Oh, if you're looking for a preschool, by the way, one of my colleagues, when I was considering this area, he told me about Seagull Schools. You know, this guy, I know he's very picky in where he wants to send his kid. He's actually planning to send his kids to private school. And he said he was really impressed with Seagull School. Ocean Point, it's not like a standard grid of 90 degree angled streets. It's, it kind of curves and bends a little. It's really one of the, the neighborhoods that sets the bar for suburbs and Ever Beach and Kapolei. I'm going straight across. I'm on Kai Leolea Drive. I know that's a tough one if you're not from here. So Kai Leolea. This is one of the main drags here in Ocean Point. Kai Leolea and uh, Kapolei Parkway intersect. This is a community of townhomes and homes. The Kealohi Kai Community Association is the biggest one. The developer here in Ocean Point was Haseko. I think when I was in high school, they were breaking ground for Ocean Point. So if you pass Kai Leolea Drive here and pass Kapolei Parkway, there's a divide. And so it gets nuanced as to what, what is Hoakare and what is Ocean Point. It's actually where our intern lives, Cameron. He's a 17 year old kid trying to decide if he is going to join the military, do cybersecurity, do real estate. He's an awesome kid. This is Kupapa at Hoakare here on our right. There may be, you know, not a big noticeable difference on the outside, 
In this community, you're gonna see the very, where you can park on the street is very designated. A lot of the communities actually, there's parking all over the streets and that might be great for you. If you own a boat or something like that and you need that parking, then you might prefer that area um, or we might need to find you a house that has ample parking which there are a few that actually have three, like a garage plus another area. In Ocean Point, it's very specific where you can park. So if you park in a no parking zone, your car actually will get towed. I've seen it happen when I was helping a friend move into this area. One of the neighbors were, was getting towed. You're gonna see a lot of people jogging and strollers being pushed. Ocean Point's the bar for uh, the quintessential Ever Beach suburb planned community. Unless you're familiar, you, you know, you could be a little disoriented. Just a few hundred yards, the beach is right over here. You know, they're building out a lagoon here and, you know, locals and surfers and people have different thoughts about that in terms of like luxury suburb living. Hoakley's, you know, it's, it's really nice. We're going to backtrack a little bit, get back on Fort Weaver where we entered just so you have that you're oriented and then we're gonna go down and we're gonna show you the transition from this new Eva Beach that's promoted in all of the all of the advertisements and whatnot and then show you the older Eva Beach too so that you have an idea of the entire picture of, of Hawaii and the nuances of these brand new neighborhoods. I just turned right on Fort Weaver Road. I'm heading towards older Eva Beach. So Ocean Point and all those really nice houses are still on my right. This next stoplight is Kai Marie. And now we're gonna transition into the older part of Ever Beach. And I really wanna show you guys that divide uh, between the newer construction and what was originally here. You know, I believe the 50s is when it really became like a, you know, an organized community. If I used to go to that McDonald's, I would save my money so I, I could go buy a teriyaki burger after school. This is Papipi Road, P-A-P-I-P-I. -P -I -P -I. One of the things here is uh, 7-Eleven actually, they cater in Hawaii. People like 7-Eleven food, something you might not expect. The post office is back there behind the shopping center. So if you live in Ever Beach, you have to go to the post office that's where you're gonna go. Ever Beach Elementary School. Again, I can't tell you what school is best for you and your kid. Ever Beach Elementary School, as I understand it, uh, according to my wife, who's a teacher, is a Title I school. So it was not the preference for her uh, when we were looking at Ocean Point. Certain parts of Ocean Point are Keoneula Elementary, which is that newer elementary school that we showed you when we first entered Ocean Point. And then other parts of Ocean Point uh, border this street and are zoned for Eva, Eva Beach Elementary. So there's an important distinction there that you need to make sure you pay attention to if that's important to you when you're renting or, or buying in this area. One of the awesome things about Eva Beach is you're close to the beach. So it's called Eva Beach. Okay guys, so one of the big advantages to living in Eva Beach or Kapolei or Eva is being able to have quick access to the ocean. People have their favorite beaches on Hawaii. They're, they're all beautiful. I grew up surfing in these waters here at Barber's Point and or Kalailoa, White Plains. Amazing diamond head views. If you're gonna come swim down here, obviously you can see the rocks. Kind of watch the locals and where they're swimming. You'll see kids swim right over here. There's a little bit of a sandy area there and then there's a sandy area way down there, but there's mostly rocks. Once you get out into the water, there might be what we call vana or sea urchin, rock, so be careful. Take your time getting into the water. I also recommend being respectful when you come down here. Just know that, you know, there's a mix of cultures that happens here. There's people that just moved here from another country or they just moved here from the mainland. And then there's also people whose, you know, family came here on the plantations or are native Hawaiian and have been here all the while. And that mix happens at this beach, so just be aware. Be respectful, be aware of the culture. One thing to keep in mind too, a lot of you guys are probably on the main line. It's January 5th right now. And I dressed for Eva Beach because it was gonna be uh, you know, warmer today. So if you do live in Eva Gentry or Ocean Point, Hoakale, you're probably gonna come down here and take advantage of this beach from time to time. And you know, when I was a kid, honestly, you didn't see other than local people at this beach. If you're going to learn how to surf when you get here, you're gonna get those stand-up paddle boards or whatever. Eva Beach is usually windy. Because of the cool ocean breeze and the hot Eva Plain, uh, you know, it mixes and we end up with a lot of wind. The waves here at Eva Beach aren't what we call the cleanest, usually except for in the morning and late evening. 
almost year round in the middle of the day it's kind of windy and choppy and a lot of good surfers come from this area because the waves aren't as perfect you know as perfect as like in town in Waikiki and Ala Moana it actually you know helps some people learn how to surf better the best surfer is the one who's having the most fun see that airplane up there that's uh, Hawaiian Airlines if you live in Ever Beach chances are you're gonna hear airplanes going over your house whether you live in Ocean Point or Ever Gentry some probably more than others but airplanes fly over Ever Beach every time you fly in from the mainland you kind of go past the South Shore here bank a u-turn and depending on the winds but the way the winds usually are you come from the west side and land at H&L Honolulu Airport and that means that you're flying over Ever Beach. So I actually sold a home uh, in the summer. The new buyer contacted me and was like, hey, there's a lot of airplane sounds here. But I guess they didn't live in Ever Beach before and they didn't know that. You know, my seller disclosed it. You're gonna hear airplanes in Ever Beach. Okay guys, so this is the transition between the newer Haseko planned community with the designated parking and all that stuff and then cue the rooster the sound of the rooster is older ever beach going this way all of this was you know plantation communities built in the 50s 60s 70s no association rules and all of that stuff and then all of the ocean point huacare stuff that we just drove through and showed you guys is on this side of this divide makakilo kapore the whole mountains are over there you see these nice huacare brand new homes over here so i just want to show you guys the kind of the the separation and the nuance between uh, the communities and so keep in mind too depending on where your home is if you're gonna rent or buy in these communities you could be zoned for different schools and you know have different proximity to different things so if you don't like the sound of the rooster then maybe you don't live in this one we're on Fort Weaver Road we're in the older part of Ever Beach Ilima Intermediate is on the side over there so this is like a trio of schools here there's Ilima Intermediate, all the bus stops here. You see the buses behind me maybe in the picture. There's uh, Pohakea Elementary. And then right around the corner is Campbell High School. Yeah, so I'm gonna turn left on North Road. A lot of people from the mainland, I say my, my mainland clients, they don't tend to gravitate towards older Ever Beach. And they stick to those suburbs that we just came from for the newer construction and central air conditioning. You'd be surprised to find actually a lot of houses in Hawaii don't have air conditioning. So that's, you, you wouldn't expect that because you figure we're always hot, right? But it's tolerable with a fan blowing and you know, air conditioning can just be expensive. So we're gonna turn into the office at Campbell High School here. This is where both myself um, my good friend and my video guy Kenji here. This is where we went to high school and um, we turned out okay. Campbell High School is one of the bigger schools on the island. When we went, there's like 2,000 kids or something. I think now it's like 2,800 kids or something along those lines. One thing I can say is that there is not currently air conditioning in all of these buildings. I remember actually being in that building, old building, if you have old building on that side in the afternoon time, man, it's hot. And uh, my chemistry teacher over there, Mr. Matsushige, I remember his class had like one fan and it's so hot. Side note, I failed chemistry. I, uh, I hated it. I convinced them. I said, bro, Mr. Matsushige, you're the only chemistry teacher. You don't want to have me again next year. <laughs> so he was like, good point. He'd give you a couple extra points so you can pass. The Manapua man's gone for the day, or I don't know if COVID has put them out of business, but we wanted to show you guys the, the Hawaii food on wheels. We have these vans called the Manapua man, and the Manapua man will drive around the neighborhood, or in this case, they stay parked right there all day, every day. They sell fried noodles and what we call pork cash and candy <laughs> you know they used to sell it's cigarettes oh, I have a crap. <laughs> they used to sell cigarettes and beer my stepbrother actually um said when he was a kid here in the 80s i think he's all he's in that like late 80s they would sell beer and then they would sell the like pepsi sleeve to put over it so you could take it back to school information you're not going to get anywhere else going back north on fort weaver road or 76 north you would say 
passing Pohakea Elementary School and we're going to be passing Irima Intermediate. So I told you guys, I was born on the mainland and I moved to Hawaii in my childhood. Irima is the first school I went to. So I can remember some of my first days at Irima actually. And when I first moved here, she became my good friend later, Jolani. So Jolani, if you ever see this, she used to tease me because the way I talk. Oh, you look like you're from here, but I talk funny. Definitely sounded like I was from Florida. Had a Southern hint to my accent. Oh, you know what? Sorry, quick turn off, quick detour. 808 Urban Bowls. I've actually used them for my real estate events before. Um, Barbara, she's super cool. I gotta show you guys everything in Ever Beach and this is the best place and only place in Ever Beach in this whole area to get acai bowls, pitaya bowls. Our high school classmate and his mother run this place to support local businesses. We'll show you guys in a minute the goods. Our high school classmate hooked us up with some extra cookie dough. That's Kendra the chocolate chip. My intermittent fasting is gone, I can tell already. I think I closed the year like number four Remax agent on the IVM, top 5% or something. So I got a big, nice, fancy car. Yeah, the 2016 Honda Odyssey. Does zero to 60 in a day. Hey guys, you can see we're at the end of our day here. We're at Kamakana Aviti Shopping Center. There's a bunch of chains here that you're probably familiar with. Victoria's Secret behind me, American Eagle, the Coffee Bean. We'll walk around. I'll point out some things that you might not have heard of. And this is Hawaii's newest mall. Super cool to come to, especially when the theaters were, you know, allowed to open. I think that one of the super like mega max theaters. When the temperature is mild like this, it's just super good place to come. The kids are playing in the artificial grass here. The weather's good, so. Let's go take a look. We got the guys playing chess over here. They probably don't have infinity in, on the mainland, I wouldn't think. A lot of my viewers are on the mainland. Alanel Hawaiian barbecue is like the, the go-to for plate lunches. Korean barbecue, if definitely if you're a meat eater and a plate lunch eater, you're gonna like Korean barbecue when you get here. We have the Dickies barbecue for if you like the you know mainland style barbecue. If you like like cup of noodles and that kind of stuff, you're probably gonna like real ramen. Bento sushi place. <laughs> That's not even Dickies. <laughs> so, you know the yellow, do you know Dickies barbecue? We did this one on the drive-by, but we're coming up on like the Thai place, uh, Koa Pancake House, which is like a, like a Denny's for Hawaii, except for you see stuff like fried rice, Portuguese sausage, and things like that. You gotta have a, a crawfish spot, right? So we got one of those as well. Cheesecake Factory and CPK for a nice Friday night or whatever. I know some of the wives are thinking, you better take your wife to someplace nicer than Cheesecake Factory, which I do. We go, we usually go to Roy's in Kotalina. So that's a spot I can uh, tell you guys about later as well. Turn the corner down here, you're gonna see the theaters as well as uh, the Peruvian spots. That's what I really wanna show you guys just cause I like it. The yuca frita is like amazing. So with the pandemic and everything, I haven't been here in a little bit. I actually didn't know that Limon closed, so my Peruvian spot is gone. But it looks like they're opening up a Mexican restaurant. You can't be mad at that. So Kenji and I were gonna go get some uh, food to take home to our wives. I guess we're not gonna get Peruvian. So maybe I'll show you another spot on the other side of the mall. But while we're here, you can check out this cool fountain, as well as that theater back there, especially when it's open and running. They have like the Titan IMAX thing or whatever. So it's like $20 to watch a movie or something crazy but it's like the full experience with the crazy sound. And so, you know, if you're coming from the mainland, you might've been afraid that we don't have stuff like that in Hawaii. We definitely do. And apparently we're gonna have a new Mexican restaurant too. I just learned too, that we have an Olive Garden coming here to Kamakana Ali'i. If you're on the mainland, you might think, so what's the big deal? For Hawaii people, it's a super big deal. I guess, cause we've been deprived of certain restaurants for a long time. So I know locals are super excited, been asking about Olive Gardens for years. There's a Chick-fil-A supposedly coming. I saw this spot, I wanted to tell you guys what the kind means. I went in, they couldn't help me, but uh, the, you're gonna hear people in Hawaii say the kind, like, can pass me the kind? Hey, let's go to the kind. The kind is kind of like whatchamacallit. It's like a placeholder, like, oh, the kind, whatchamacallit. So when you hear the kind, it means sort of like whatchamacallit, pass me the kind, and this is the kind's barbershop. All right. Hey, 
like I told you guys, I had New Year's resolutions, but I'm willing to sacrifice for you. Pretty serious this time, like, I've really been trying not to drink. My video guy behind you, Kenji, his brother, uh, manages a restaurant. One of the guys over here works with him too. Hawaii's a small place, so he sent out shots. So I'm pretty serious, like I don't want to drink, but hey, this is for you. It's not for me, I do it for you, and I don't want to be disrespectful, so let's go. Okay guys, so that wraps up our day of filming in Eva Beach. That was a broad look at the whole zip code, 96706 from Eva, from the freeway cutoff all the way to Eva Beach. We wrapped up here at Moani Island Bistro. I kept making jokes that I do it for you guys. All joking aside, I am trying to lose weight and I do have some New Year's resolutions, but it was good to have a beer at a place with live music on a Tuesday night. Uh, they have live music pretty much every day. So if you live in Eva Beach and you want some music and want to decompress with some beers, this is probably going to be your spot. They have a military appreciation night. We're going to do more videos like this, so please comment please leave some ideas below what you guys want to see if you want to see specific stuff or with a specific neighborhood in Eva Beach or somewhere else on the island please let me know please subscribe subscribing really helps us to grow the channel we want to do more videos for you guys we're gonna leave our website and contact information below we want to help you guys out and we want to get in contact and help you achieve your goals so thanks for watching guys hit subscribe <laughs>